Stan has been feeling rather stale lately, with Etherworks Marvel making up over 36% of the current metagame. So I've been on the hunt for a deck that can thrive with the way things are right now. And after trying many, many decks, I feel like Blue White Spirits is the right deck right now. Back when Eldritch Moon came out, Standard of Spirits started to become a thing, but when Marta Vehicles took over Standard, that was the last we saw of Spirits. But since then, the Standard metagame's changed quite a bit, and now Marta Vehicles only makes up 7% of the current metagame. So the question is, does Standard have a place for Blue White Spirits? That's what we're about to find out. So let's take a look at the deck. So some of the obvious cards, Mausoleum Wanderer, of course, Spell Queller, Selfless Spirits, all really good cards. We also have four Rattle Chains to resist removal, and four Neville Gas Heralds to tap down our opponent's creatures. Now on to some not-so-obvious picks. Four Metallic Mimics. If you're going to make a standard tribal deck, Metallic Mimics the way to go. Plus, all the creatures have flying, so if you give them all plus one plus one, it's well worth it. Now, people probably notice that there's four Topple Geist in the deck, which most people probably wouldn't run. It's actually decent. It's decent, not great, but it's decent. It's a 1-1 flyer for one, which taps your opponent's creature when it enters the battlefield, but it also has Delirium, and usually Delirium doesn't work out so well, but we do have a couple cards to make Delirium work. First of all, Metallic Mimic usually comes out pretty early, which means it usually dies pretty early. So Metallic Mimic goes into the graveyard, there's two cards for Delirium. And here's another card that doesn't see much play. It returns the spells to its owner's hand. So in our deck, it's good because unlike most blue decks, our deck's actually pretty aggressive. So Blue White Spirits is actually more of an aggro deck than it is a control deck. So when we turn a spell to our opponent's hand, it usually stays there until the game's over because we close out the game pretty quickly. Plus, the comply aftermath is decent. And it also helps justify Topple Geist because when this card goes to the graveyard, it counts for two things. In the same way that Metallic Mimic counts for two things. A few more things to talk about. Essence Flux, really good at resisting removal, so when they play things like Harness Lightning on your creatures, you can flicker it, their Harness Lightning goes away, they don't get their energy, works really well. Plus you can flicker things like Topple Geist against aggro decks. And worth mentioning, we also have one sensor, not really that spectacular, but we have an extra spot, so why not sensor? As for lands, we're running 23 lands, which feels a bit low in this deck, but it works. The bulk of our sideboard is dedicated to taking out big creatures, so things like Collective Effort, which is good at taking out big creatures with power 4 or more. It also puts a 1-1 counter on our creatures. We also have two Declarations of Stones, and this card here, which is really good in our deck, Dust Dawn. But against big creatures, it's really good, particularly green black energy, and it comes in handy in a lot of situations. Plus, the Dawn ability is pretty good, and it'll bring back a lot of our creatures, especially with like Selfless Spirit, which is sacked a lot and killed a lot, comes back to your hand. Also, we have four Negates. That's mainly for Etherworks Marvel and Blue Red Control decks. Really comes in handy. We also have two Essence Scatters. Now, we don't really bring it in that much, but against something like a Jun God's deck, could come in handy. Last thing to mention is Fragmentize. Now, Fragmentize is good against things like Marty Vehicles, which tends to give us a lot of trouble, because when our opponent has like a 4-4 Flyer to block us, then attacking for us is kind of pointless. It'd probably be a good idea to take out the two Essence Scatters and replace them with two more Fragmentize. But enough talk. Let's get to the gameplay, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, we're on the play. Opening hand looks really good. Uh, Islands and Wanderers. I like Wanderer turn one. Yes, yes. All right, cool. We got a Mimic. Drop Mimic. Swing in for two. Mm, green black makes me nervous. Their creatures get really big. We don't really have anything to kill their creatures main deck, but we do have things to uh, tap them and stuff to slow them down a bit. Ah, oh, shoot. This is going to hurt. Ooh, is going to kill the Mimic? Yeah. All right. It could be worse. Ooh, man. Didn't want an untapped land. Uh, I was hoping to keep that. Oh man, do we play the Wanderer? It's a little bit weird, but I think we're gonna keep this in hand instead. Uh, instead of playing Wanderer, I mean, uh, it's really tempting to play it, but it might be better to wait till we can play this guy and then play it after to slow his creatures down. It's kind of a hard toss up there. I'm just afraid of his creatures though, because I don't want anything big. Yeah, I don't want that coming out. So send it back. Hmm, what do we play? What do we play? You need to start putting things out. So we should be playing this guy, I think right about now. Now this is a card that people probably thought wasn't very good for the deck, but if you look at this, we have four card types in our graveyard already. Woohoo! So yeah, some of the cards kind of just like come together really nicely. Um, Topple Geist, it works out a lot of times. Uh, so we'll play Wanderer, play Topple Geist, and swing for three. So Constrictor does come out. We didn't have the white mana to use this last turn because uh, we spent it on Topple Geist, but it's okay. I don't think it'll be an issue. Besides helping us with topple guys for the next turn. Plays this. Another one. All right. Might as well play this guy now so we get the Wanderers pumped. All right. Tapping that, I guess. And we'll swing for five. And now we'll tap down the bigger guy, I guess. But uh, the odds of our opponent getting through now are pretty slim. We just got to be worried about removal. And if removal doesn't get us, then I don't see how he can come back. Uh, yeah, I mean, spirits. Spirits. I love spirits so much. Shoot. This thing again. Ugh. Is he going to take out topple guys? Mm, probably better take out Topple guys. Ooh, he takes out that thing. Interesting. You gotta be careful though, because he could ping this each turn. Uh, we might be in a losing position now. It's kind of strange that uh, things turn so suddenly. We'll tap down the same guy. We don't want that coming out, so we'll return it to the hand. Opponent swings for three. I w I'd be surprised. Is he gonna ping? No ping. We'll swing for three, and if he tries to ping, we can spell caller if he's targeting one of these guys. I'll probably target Topple guys though. See what happens. Nope, no ping. All right, let's prevent him from playing that card again. 
So no Rishkar. And then we pass the turn. Opponent swings for three. Shoot, another one. Uh-oh. Mm, yeah, we can't let that hit. That's It'll be a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, no way. Our opponent tries to kill that thing. All right. Oh, so if he doesn't kill anything, we'll play Toppelgeist. And our opponent gives us the win there. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, green, black energy is a pretty scary matchup. Just because they have so many big things. And with these ballistas, ah. So we're going to get rid of all these things here. Uh, I like these cards a lot, but... These cards would be better. They're pretty good. Dusk, if their creatures get too out of control, we can board wipe them and keep our creatures. Uh, we also have Collective Effort that can kill a big creature of theirs and also put counters on our creatures. It's just good. We'll get rid of this and go to game two. Ugh, our opening hand isn't great, um, but we only have 23 lands in the deck. So if we mull, we could end up with a hand with only one land. So I think we'll, we'll keep it, even though it's not great. Ugh. Uh, whenever I do that, I always pull a land in the next draw. Ugh. Anyways. We'll drop guys, and he's probably going to fatal push it anyways. No fatal push. And this guy comes out. Ouch. Hmm, okay. We'll probably just play Mimic. Um, yeah. Swing for one. And our opponent kills the Mimic. All right. Ouch. Removal, where are you? Oh, crap. Okay. So probably just tap our opponent's creature on his turn. That's the best defense against him right now, until we get all of our sideboard cards. Because, uh, yeah, this is going to be going to be a rough, rough game. We'll tap down his cat. And another constrictor, okay. And another cub, oh, okay to that too. Oh man, where's the board wipe when I need, ah. At least Rattle Chains allows us to play both of them on our opponent's turn to tap them, so that will help. Swing for three, we'll drop Rattle Chains, and also a selfless spirit, Whoa. We're still in a rough spot though, because we can't just keep doing this every single turn, because uh, we're out of spirits in hand. <laughs> Okay, and these guys are getting pretty big because of this little thing that keeps coming out. Uh, oh man. Come on, board wipe. Come on, board wipe. Oh, you are not board wipe. Swing for seven. Can we survive? Uh, oh man, oh man. I would need to play Selfless Spirit to tap down a guy, but we'll still need to block. Yeah, did not want to have to block here, but uh, I don't think we have a choice. And we don't have a choice. This is not good. Okay, we'll block like this. Man, we're going to be one away from finishing him. Uh-oh. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, how can we worm out of this? I think the safest move here, attack with these three, leave one to block just in case, and try and finish our opponent next turn. Can we win? Maybe. We'll see. Flash and topple guys, tapping them big boys. An opponent swings with everything. What are the odds they have pump? Block two guys. If he has something to pump to give it plus two plus two, we'll still survive. But instead of letting these things die, we're gonna sack this thing. And let's see. Uh, do they have pump to kill us? No. We're at three. There's another constrictor. What is that going to do? There you are. I was waiting for you the whole game. What could they do to stop us? They haven't given us the win yet. Let's see. Safest play, attack with these two guys. If they kill one of them, we'll still win. If they somehow survive, we can block two of them and only take two. And we get the win, 2-0. Great start. All right, so this is an example of how spirits can really stop these powerful decks. So even though he was playing the stronger cards throughout the game, like he had... You know, five fives out for such a long time. We were still able to stop him, even with cards that people think aren't that good. I mean, Topple Guys, people say, is horrible, right? I mean, like, how many people, when I first showed this deck, thought, like, oh, Topple Guys, why is that there? It's good. It's good. Especially with uh, with this guy giving it flash and comboed with the other guy. It just works really nicely. So let's go on to the next match. I'm very optimistic about this deck because I've played so many decks this week. And this deck really is the only one that feels like it has a chance against the meta that's out there. So let's go on to the next match, see how it goes. All right, good. We pulled another land. We'll drop Selfless Spirit and pass the turn. Oh, shoot. Are we up against the mirror? No. No, we're not. For a second, I was like, wait, someone can't thought about Spirits before me? No way. Okay, they're up against a similar deck. Play Topple Guy, swing in for two. Yep, this is going to be rough. I can't do too much. I really need to play this guy soon. Well, no attack. Uh, I don't think we we'll let that thing hit. Let's do Spell Queller. Uh, Mimic would be pretty good, but let's try swinging in, see what we can do. Mm, maybe we should have held back with this, but nah, we gotta be aggressive here. I think if since we can tap out his creatures, uh, the more aggressive we are, the better. Yeah, that's the right block. We'll pass the turn. Hmm, opponent doesn't do anything. It's a bit odd. Uh, let's try throwing this out. I wonder if he has Avacyn. Because he could sack this to play Avacyn. Mm, well, let's get encountered. We'll swing in for three. And unfortunately, our land came into play tap this turn, so we can't play Mimic and Queller. We'll pass the turn. Mm, do we spill Queller in? No. Uh, I smell a trap. Something's weird. Something's weird. Why would he attack? Mm, yeah. Well, I don't want to use spill Queller just yet. I'd rather just play Mimic and then spill Queller. Let's drop Mimic. I mean, if he has Avacyn, though, oh, man. 
Swing for three. It has a spell quote. We'll take care of that. <laughs> oh, well, I probably wasn't too happy about that, I guess. So we get the win. Interesting. So it almost felt like a mirror matchup in a way, but the late game, we're at a slight disadvantage. So we're gonna need to take care of that. Okay, so take care of Allison. Let's put in two Essence Scatters. We'll get rid of a Sensor and one of these guys. But the question is, do we want to put any Negates in or Dispels? Uh, I don't think so. It's a pretty creature-heavy deck that he's running, I think. So Negate doesn't seem necessary. This guy is pretty good. I want to keep this. Works well with the Delirium. Go to the next game. All right, we'll keep this. Not a wonderful hand, but not a terrible hand. Hmm, what do we play? I guess the Mimic. Hope he doesn't have anything to stop it. Uh, yeah. No block. Ooh. That will be a problem. Do we keep Spell Queller or do we play these two? Man, this thing's gonna be a problem. Er, I suppose we drop these two. Opponent plays Selfless Spirit. Man, it's just, if it weren't for this thing, hmm, opponent's gonna swing in with it. All right, no blocks. Not really sure attacking was the right idea. I guess he's trying to outspeed us, but I think we can outspeed him. We'll swing him with everything. Actually, no, we're not gonna swing him with him. Swing him with everything else. Opponent looks like he's gonna go for the swing again, but little does he know. We'll flicker our Mausoleum Wanderer, and now we can go to block the Selfless Spirit. Gives this thing lifelink, which is super annoying, and attempts to play another Selfless Spirit. I don't think so. We're going to quell it. I mean, if it weren't for lifelink, man, we still have our opponent down pretty low. Five life. Shoot. I was hoping it was Avacyn. I had this ready for it. No. See, if he tries to bounce one of our creatures, we got something for that. Oh, but if he bounces him, though. Ah, uh, that's annoying. So let's flicker this thing. So unfortunately, with the way the mechanics work, we can't... Uh, Oh, what just happened? I don't understand. Uh, well, our opponent gave us the win, great. Um, so what I was in the middle of saying was that, uh, before our opponent rudely interrupted us, was that Spell Queller, the way the mechanics work, is that the thing would have hit before we had a valid target for it. Long story short, the triggered ability would, would fizzle. We wouldn't be able to remove it the second time. Would we have still won? So we would have had Selfless Spirit out. I don't really know why he conceded. Like, I wouldn't have conceded at that point. I don't know. Or I'll, a win's a win, I guess. Well, move on to the next one. Our lands aren't so great, but it'll work. Okay, play this thing and pass the turn. And it looks like we finally found Team or Aetherworks, maybe. Possibly, hopefully. I've been wanting to get my revenge. After all the shit they put me through this week, I was trying to make all these good decks, and they're so great. And then Team or Aetherworks had to come along and shit on all of them. But you know what? It's my turn to shit on them. So take this. He's probably going to count it or something, but whatever. He's like pausing for a really long time. I'm sure he's super confused. He's like, wait a minute. I thought this was blue-white mid-range. Pass the turn. Harness Lightning, maybe? I mean, Selfless Spirit would have been the safer option. But, eh. We got to roll the dice sometimes. Yep, and then this guy. Kind of afraid what he's gonna do, so I'm gonna hang on to these guys for next turn. Uh, we could tap him out, but I'm gonna wait. He's trying to play that thing. Not gonna let that happen. Let's put it back in hand. So we'll push it back. We'll make it so he can't cast it again. And then we'll pass the turn. Opponent's dropping this, and it's passing the turn. All right, let's try dropping this. Swing for two, and Selfless Spirit, pass the turn. Uh, let's prevent this guy from coming out again, because maybe this is like his only payoff card he has, at least for now. Opponent's swing for three, no blocks. I mean, man, we're kind of off to a little bit of a slow start. Usually, this late in the game, we have more creatures out. Ooh. And he's at 21 life, and he hasn't gained 3 life from that. Ah, oh, too much life gain. I guess we can't play Virtuoso again. No! Uh, let's just try flickering this. Not a good thing to do. Oh, man. I mean, usually we have a pretty good matchup against Aetherworks, but still, it's like, Aetherworks is pretty rough. Spell color. But you know, he has Aetherworks out, though. It's like, well, what are we going to do at this point? Aha, it wasn't Ulamog. That's good. Okay, do we spell color this? He does have Virtuoso, but I think we have to try and color it. Oh, well, he's going to have another shot at it, though. Yep. And here comes Ulamog. Ouch. Gosh, this card's so annoying. Can't wait till it gets banned. Because trust me, this card will be banned. I mean, 40% of the meta using Team or Aetherworks is like, it's too much, too much. Can't come back from this one. Shoot. All right, let's make some changes. We'll get rid of these guys and put in four negates, one declaration of stone for the whirlwind virtuoso, for the little token guys it makes, and go to game two. Ugh, the land situation isn't great here. Oh boy. I want to make sure we can drop Mimic uh, next turn, so we'll play that. So Mimic comes out. Gosh, same thing as before. So Mimic and Wander will be our turn. What? Well, we'll sack this. I didn't think anyone would play that card anymore. It's all about sweltering suns. Anyway, we'll play Wanderer, Tireless Tracker. Let's tap him down. Okay, swing in for seven and pass the turn. Another tracker. Uh, what can you do? I'd rather be a tracker than like an Aetherworks, so whatever. Hmm, it's kind of odd. Should we flicker something? Nah, we'll save it. Ooh, swing for five. Oh, you're trying to play this? Take this hoe bag. Mwahaha. This is what you get for running standard. I had so many good decks that were amazing, but they couldn't get past Team or Aetherworks, and with like 35 to 40 percent of the meta being Team or Aetherworks, they couldn't, they just didn't have a chance. Anyways, going on to game three. 
this is how it should be. This kind of wreckage is how it should be. So even though our opponent's running Tireless Tracker, it's not too much of a big deal. We have so many things to tap down our opponent's creatures that I don't think we need to worry about it. So let's go to game three, no changes. We can work with this, we'll keep it. We'll play a Mimic and pass the turn. Swing for two. And as much as I like to play a second one of these, we gotta keep spell color in case he tries anything funny with like an Etherworks or anything. You know what card they need to make? They need to make a card for our devastation that says, every energy counter becomes a poison counter. That'd be super cool. I feel like that needs to happen. Tireless Tracker. Yeah, I'll call it. Swing for five. And we'll drop another Mimic. Let's go to our opponent's turn. So we have a negate. So they try Etherworks, we'll definitely negate it. But the question is if they play something like Glimmer of Genius, will we negate that? I don't really know. Hmm, no plays from our opponent. Could be Glimmer of Genius in hand. Uh, should we cycle this? Eww, that's a hot, that's a tough one. Yeah, I suppose we cycle it. I mean, Glimmer of Genius won't be the end of the world. And no Glimmer of Genius, okay. Awesome, a second negate. We'll swing for eight. Oh, we'll pass the turn. We have this guy we can flash in. Oh, well, isn't that nice? Too bad. Too bad indeed. Oh, a dispel. How nice. But you know what? You know what? Too bad again. That's right. That's right. You beat me too many times this week with all my decks. I worked so hard to brew those decks, and you run those decks. You run them. And this is what you get. All right, we'll drop Selfless Bear. We're still kind of in the danger zone here. If he has another one or something, that could be a problem. Swing in. Opponents at three, and we get the win. You know what, all those people out there watching who are frustrated with Etherworks, you know what, that's what they get. That's what they get. This is the deck's answer. It's not amazing because, you know, like first game we lost, but you know, it has a potential of being amazing against it compared to other decks out there which do not have any potential, like all the aggro decks I tried making this week. Like I tried going back to red, black aggro, and you just can't, you just can't deal with it because there's like all, you know, they play these little creatures out, and even if you kill them, it's like, so what? They still get the energy counters, and then they play Aetherworks Marvel, and then by the time you've, you know, gotten them down 10 life, they're already playing Aetherworks Marvel, and they're playing Ulamog, and it's like, you just can't deal with them, you can't outspeed them. Spirits works because you can interfere with what they're doing, and also build up your side of the board. So, Spirits is the way to go, build Spirits is awesome, yeah. Opening hand looks good, we'll keep it. Drop Wanderer. Ah, this seems similar to the deck I made a while back. Possibly the whole red black discarding thing. Could really use the planes here. Uh, we'll swing in for one. Yeah, I really need to go back to that deck, but it's been I've been having so much trouble making it work. With Aetherworks increasing, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. With Aetherworks on the rise, it's been so hard to uh, make a deck that works against it. Like, you can't really out aggro Aetherworks just because it's so good. Anyways, let's swing in for one. But I'll go back to the deck at some point, but right now I just don't feel like it can compete with Aetherworks. Hmm, this thing's coming in. We'll tap down the big boy. But this is a lot of damage coming in. We're at seven. How do we do this? Drop one selfless spirit. Hmm, but how do we do this? Essence Flux could get our opponent if he tries swinging in again. We'll swing for just two and hold back with the other guys. And let's do it now. We'll Essence Flux this guy, tap down the Crasher. And our opponent swings with this guy. He probably has some removal in his hand and he just wants to use it after Selfless Spirit's been activated. So, hmm, do we activate it or just let it die? Yeah, I just let it die. I don't want to risk him firing off some removal while this is on the stack. Man, this guy is dumping his hand. Don't think we're going to win this one. Yep, it's going to be rough coming back. Go to game two. Okay, we'll swap out these four guys, which don't do too much against fast decks, and we'll put in these things and just hope we can get to that many mana and fire it off before our opponent creatures it too big. And uh, yeah, I think we can keep this. And then we'll drop Mimic. Swing for two. Hmm, okay. Let's just dump our hand. Mwahaha, we can be aggressive as well. No block. Hmm, okay. Let's just flash this in now so we can't block. Swing for 10, ha ha. I don't think he can come back from this. Okay, do we block anything? I guess we block one of the one ones. Whoa, and that gave us the win, all right, sure. Uh, so yeah, we're pretty aggressive too. But uh, it's interesting to see who is more aggressive here. So let's go to game three. And now we're on the draw. I'm going to get rid of Sensor and put in one more Declaration Stone and go to game three. Oh boy, I don't know if we can keep this. Oh, three of these lands are going to come into play tapped. Yikes. I guess we keep it. Oh man. It's pretty risky though. Okay, we do have an island. It's good. Drop a Prairie Stream and pass the turn. Okay, now we're looking pretty good. We'll drop a Selfless Spirit and pass the turn. Ah, uh, yikes. Hang on the Spell Queller. Or do we try and tap something down? Nah, let's try and tap something down. Oh, Magma Sprite. Opponent has two cards in hand. Uh, do we Declaration of Stone? What do we do? I think we should get rid of his Scrounger. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go for it. And drop Selfless Spirit, pass the turn. Man, so much removal. This is pretty rough. Could play Selfless Spirit. Maybe Spell Queller is better, though. Well, hang on to uh, Spell Queller. Do we just drop it in after he attacks? I don't know. I guess so. I, ugh, this is bad. It's not a good move. Block the Courier. 
and then he drops this. Probably should have waited a spell call that, but at least he can't draw two cards. Well, now we have this. All right. Selfless so killed that, and we'll hold back for now. Hmm. Not a bad save, but when do we do it? Probably now, actually, so we can use this uh, Dawn ability next turn. And then swing for two. What will our opponent do? Hmm, one of our opponent has a Magma Spray. Eh, let's block anyways. I don't want him drawing any cards. Either that or he just has like a land or something, he's gonna sack it. Yep, probably just had a land. Yep, was well, it a mountain? Yep. Okay, cool. So we can use this. Swing in for two first. And now bring back our stuff. Cool, and we can still use this. The odds of us winning are actually pretty good. And then we will flicker this thing so we can take care of that. And there's the win. Um, I mean, maybe our opponent could have come back from that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Why do you concede? I mean, it was a paid match, so like, I don't think he would have conceded unless he really thought he was going to lose. But uh, yeah, two selfless spirits in hand, and then we'd have a 3-4 there. The odds were definitely in our favor. And even if he did have like removal and stuff, I, I don't think that'd be enough to come back. Let's see what would he have drawn. I don't know. I mean, he might have had a shot. Well, a win's a win, I guess. Yeah, it was kind of it was kind of interesting seeing how it matched up against the red black aggressive deck because I have been thinking a lot about the red black aggressive deck that I made a while ago. So if Etherworks goes down, if like ban Etherworks Marvel, which I think has to happen. I mean, if you have a deck that's like what almost forty percent of the meta right now is Etherworks Marvel, I don't know how much longer you can keep that up before you actually ban something. And unfortunately, with Etherworks Marvel, like you, even if you ban Etherworks Marvel, you still have all these teamer the teamer uh, energy decks floating around. That can win without it, but at least that at least it'll like cut back on some of the percentage, like maybe drop it down 20% or 15%, which isn't as bad. But anyways, until that happens, uh, red black seems a little bit out of the question. Spirits though, spirits seem to be doing okay. We'll keep going with that. Okay, we can keep this. Play that tap, pass the turn. Man, it's like it seems like so many decks are eat the works. Well, time for our revenge. We'll drop mimic. Hope he doesn't have removal. Opponent swing for two, no blocks. Please don't kill this guy. Hmm, another one. It's a lot of energy. Well, I don't think we can attack. I think we just hang back. He may just drop Etherworks this turn, so we gotta make sure it doesn't happen. Hmm, sure. I feel like he has Harness Lightning or Glimmer. Probably Glimmer. And as soon as we drop one something, he's gonna play it, but eh, oh well. Let's go with this thing. Tap down a creature of his. Yep, Glimmer. I still think we have a pretty good shot at outspeeding him, so let's just hope things go well. Hmm, is it worth Calling that. Nah, I don't think so. I'm more concerned about like a virtuoso or something to use his energy on. Man, 14 energy. What is he what is he up to? Well, let's flash this thing in. Tap down one of his creatures, see if he wants to play anything. Nope. Okay, five lands. We'll swing in. Still nothing from our opponent, huh? Well we could flash in both of these this turn. We have a lot of options. Another one? Sure. And to prevent him from attacking, we'll play selfless spirit, tapping down one of these guys. Really? Nothing from our opponent? 16 energy, what? All right, sure. Another mimic. Swinging for nine. Hmm, no blocks. And we'll pass the turn. Hmm, maybe he just didn't get any cards. I mean, he had a glimmer of genius and that should have been good enough to find what he was looking for. But 19 energy, is that's crazy. Or maybe he's just hoping I was gonna tap out. Yep, we're not letting that happen. Spellcaller, what will our opponent do now? 19 energy. Uh, I won't block him. I think our opponent's gonna lose if they don't do something right here. Yep, and they gave us the win. Cool. They seem to be pretty straightforward Etherworks deck. I'm gonna put in four negates. Um, Cause there's different variations of Etherworks. I don't think he was like the creature variation cause there's one out there where it's like, you have a lot of uh, tireless trackers and, and uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, glory bringers and everything. I think he's probably just uh, Etherworks Marvel, like the classic one. So we're gonna swap out a sensor and these four guys, even though I love these guys. Um, but we're gonna put in four negates, a dispel, and that should be good, and we'll go to game two. Opening hand is okay, we'll keep it. Ooh, maybe it's the creature variation. This could end badly. Hmm, it's not good either. You won't block that, but oh man. Ugh. Luckily we can tap down our opponent's creatures. Uh, so we'll do that on our opponent's turn. So we'll tap down our opponent's creature. Hmm, opponent's attacking with that thing, no blocks. Uh oh, uh oh, that was too soon. Shoot, what do we do? Uh, selfless spirit. Hmm, what can they get? We can get like Ulamog, what else can they get? Hmm, I don't know, let's play Wanderer. We still have enough to Essence Flux. I think we swing him with everything, so either, or with these two. Um, he can play the little guy, but he might not because Etherworks is really close to firing. So that will be his dilemma, and he doesn't. So he's probably just gonna fire this. If he does fire off Ulamog, then we can flicker one of our guys to protect it. But this thing, I don't like this thing, seriously. I guess he's really desperate for energy, uh, sure. All right, here we go. My butt cheeks are clenched, ooh. It's actually not too bad for us. 
Okay, so he's discarding his hand. Hmm, what was there? Ulamog? Two Ulamogs, all right. Let's see, should we flicker? Now, nah, actually, just let him attack. Let's see if he attacks anything we can block. Hmm, maybe I should have blocked there. I totally forgot that he discarded and that he couldn't use the minus ability. I thought he was gonna board wipe us or try to do it. Uh, hmm, did I misplay there? Not really sure. The numbers are really annoying here. I'm gonna attack with two things at Chandra and two things at him. Yeah, I feel like I misplayed though. I should have, I should have blocked this thing. Cause now he has three energy and like we can't let it go through this time. Anyways, so we'll flicker so that way we can tap one of our opponent's creatures, tap this big boy. What will our opponent do? Hmm, it's a lot of energy. So we can fire this off again? Crap. I was kind of just hoping we wouldn't get enough energy to do anything this turn. Uh, well, that's what happens when you hope. Hopes are just crushed. That's what happens. Huh. Well, that's not Ulamog. Well, he does have two Ulamogs in the graveyard and this, so odds of getting another one's pretty slim. Let's see, let's see. Might as well sack this thing, make it so he can't play it. Rattle chains there just in case something happens. Ten in the air. Sweet victory. Sweet victory. Amazing. Man, after all the times losing to Aetherworks, like, it's just so therapeutic to just, like, just throw it back at them now. Oh, amazing, amazing. Satisfaction, great. Next match. Hand is keepable. Drop this tap, pass the turn. Hmm, oh shoot, is this Marty Vehicles? Not a good matchup for us. Hmm, lands, lands, we need more lands. Okay, drop two topple guys, nothing special. And pass the turn. Oh man, thing's so hard to deal with. You're not a land. Well, can't attack. So we'll just play Mimic. Oh man, this one card, this one card. Pass the turn. Oh man. This is not good. Oh man, get wrecked. How do you even come back from this? I don't even know. Swing for two. Hooray. Hmm, this card doesn't come up too often. Oh my gosh. I think we can still win. I, I just kidding. No, we're not. See, I, I had you fooled there. You th I said we we're gonna win. You thought you thought we we're gonna win. But the, the trick was we weren't because, oh, let's go to the next game. Okay, we gotta get some anti big boy stuff. Uh, get that. I suppose we keep one sensor. Yep. All right, game two. Oh man, two lands again. This feels like whenever I keep a two-land hand, it's bad news, but what can I say? I hate mulliganing. Hmm, let's see. We'll drop the selfless spirit. Pass the turn. What? Did they splash blue for the gate? Probably. Oh, no lands again. Swing for two. Uh, play wander and Toppelgeist, and then pass the turn. Erg. Hmm, so you didn't crew it. Oh man. Um, let's pass the turn. We should probably get this guy out soon. Shoot, uh, now I can't tap it. Yeah, you know, let's just tap this guy. That'll, that'll get the job done, because that way you can't crew on our turn. All right, we're okay on lands now. We'll swing in with, uh, swing with everything. Man, this thing's so annoying. Uh, I kind of want to keep Spell Queller, but I don't want this thing blocking our guys. I guess we'll swing in, but not with the tapper guy, as expected. And we'll pass the turn. Opponent swings for two, no block. And that's it, no plays. Uh-oh. Hmm, we'll swing in for four. I'm just afraid to play anything, because, like, I want to keep Spell Queller there, and we don't have enough white to play both this and this. And our opponent just keeps on swinging. I mean, six cards in hand, you think you'd have something. Finally, another white mana. All right, we'll swing in for five. It's not the end of the world if he kills it. Do we spell quell it? Yeah, I guess so, let's try it. And our opponent gives us the win. Cool. So Marty Vehicle's just like really hard for us to win against. This thing, this thing is annoying. And the other other vehicle thing is annoying too. And now that I think about it, like do we really need the, the Dust Dawn card? Cause like, he doesn't have that many big creatures. I don't know, we will ponder it. I'm gonna swap out one Dust Dawn for Negate. Is that the right move? Yeah, I think so. And we'll go to game three. Opening hand is keepable. Thing is very aggressive. Pass his turn. Why? Uh, we'll drop Selfless Spirit. Man, this is fast. Shoot. Uh, swing in and we'll save our spell color for our opponent's turn. Or maybe we'll just tap his guy. Hmm, uh, I don't want the thing to die. Let's, uh, let's call that. So much damage, stop it. Uh, he's like not even doing anything. It's just this one card. This one card. Swing it. Drop a topple geist and pass the turn. I mean, do we tap it? I, I don't know. I mean, should we tap his guy? I, yeah, let's just go for it. Hmm, he's trying to kill this thing. Might as well sack it. And of course. Of course. Well, bye creatures. Nice knowing you. Oh, we're left with our little 1-1 one -one guy. Sweet. Nah, I don't know anymore. This is, I'm, what do we do? Ugh, balls. Great. Oh boy. I mean, it did say that Marty Vehicles was a pretty bad matchup for us, and that's why spirits were kind of dormant for a really long period until now. Oh man. Oh man, why? This just isn't this isn't that great. I mean, uh, I mean, we get to beat the shit out of uh, Etherworks, but then we get the shit beat out of us when we play Marty Vehicles. Uh, yep. Is that game? We can survive like one more turn. Uh, might as well play it out. All these cards in the graveyard, we only have one one card type. It's 
like we're dying slowly here. Uh, block. Oh, goody, we drew another land. Well, that's game. Wow. Uh, I mean, we could have won. It's just like our opponent just has a favorable matchup against us. I mean, at one point we had a good number of creatures, and then they had a fatal pusher guy, and then they waited till that moment where they just board wiped us, basically. Well, we had a good run. It's a fitting end to lose to Marty Vehicles, given how well it does against us. And like I was saying before, it's like that's why spirits haven't really been in the in the spotlight lately, just because Marty Vehicles up until recently was everywhere, and now with uh, you know with Etherworks coming out, no one really I don't think people really went back to the spirits to look at it. Um, I mean, blue white is kind of a thing right now because uh, Etherworks is everywhere, but blue white spirits i think it's a good time to play spirits so if you've been wanting to build a tribal standard deck and zombie just wasn't doing it for you uh spirits is the way to go it's a really good deck really good matchup against etherworks and there's so many etherworks decks out there right now like 36 percent of the meta right now is etherworks so uh, it does really well against etherworks not so well against marty but marty right now is, isn't really is, there's not that many are out there and while i was recording this like midway through i just stopped i'm like wait a minute I have to finish building this deck for for a paper because a couple months back I started like building the, the deck for paper. Then I'm like, ah, who am I kidding? Like tribal spirits isn't a thing. And then I stop. And then like today I'm just like, oh my gosh, like it's just beating every Etherworks deck out there. Yeah, it's just it's really fun to play it. I mean, just tribal decks are just so satisfying. And topple guys, you know, like people will say this is a bad card. Like it it works. It works in a lot of situations because I think the main complaint with spirits before was that like it's just lacking a few cards to make the whole thing work. And if you want to make the mimic work, you have to have enough spirits to make it you know, to justify it. And I think Topple Geist works just fine. It's not the best card, but it's pretty good. Like, you know, it works well with uh, Rattle Chains, because you can tap things if you play it as an instant, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, Delirium doesn't really activate that much, but in most cases you get, like, you know, a 2-2 two -two flyer for one in a lot, a lot of cases. So, uh, not bad. Anyways, is there anything else to say? I guess that's kind of it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I had a lot of fun making this one. Uh, if you want to see more standard videos like that, just let me know, and you can subscribe below if you want to see more videos like this. And uh, I hope you have a great day.